what's up y'all welcome to my channel thanks so much for clicking so in today's video we're gonna be heading to la because we used to live there so we still have some stuff there so we're gonna head over there pick up some of our stuff and i figured while we're there visiting family and all we can definitely hit up some swap beats it's gonna be like a little thriftcation so i'm very excited for this weekend so if you guys want to see how it goes then keep watching To LA. What does that say? No signs of LA yet. What's up, y'all? You can't see me, but we're on our way to California. In case you didn't know, we did move from LA to Arizona and we left um, a good amount of stuff behind because we just didn't. Uh, we just couldn't fit it into the trucks but we're going back finally to pick up some of our stuff and I'm very excited because I have my sewing machine over there and I really been wanting to get into sewing so I'm gonna pick that up and then I have like some mannequins that I want to use to take pictures for Depop as well I'm not really sure what else I have I honestly can't remember and I know if you can't remember you shouldn't need it but there is some useful things over there so it's kind of like a little mystery when we get there <laughs> The honey's found some good stuff today and some records. Hey y'all, uh, what's up? So we just went to the Swapo and it's been a while. We forgot how crazy those swap meets get. It's like packed. But we did find some stuff. Those black bags is our little haul and I'm very excited. Boogie here found some good stuff too. I think tomorrow, it's already 11.30 so swap meets are kind of like not that great anymore. But tomorrow I want to go to either the swap meet or the bins and find some more stuff. So we're at the swap meet. Hello. And we're pretty early. I don't want to walk in puddles. We're pretty early so I'm hoping we find some good stuff. I'm excited. <laughs> First little baggie. We got four things. Yeah. Two dollars. Four dollars. So we got eight things. It's pretty big here. So these are my bags that we got. I put all the little individual bags into these. Um, so I got these two here, plus this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and sort it out, see what I need to wash, what I'm keeping. Let me get my wagon here. You guys can't see, but I just have all the clothes in my wagon. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start pulling from my piles. First, I found this white baby doll. It does not have a size or a tag, but it's gorgeous and in excellent condition. So I went ahead and picked her up for a dollar. And then I went ahead and picked up this Free People vest and it's also in really good condition. So I had to pick her up and I feel like you can wear this in a lot of different ways. It's such a good basic to have in your wardrobe. I also picked up this white long sleeve. I love the sheer bell sleeves. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one. And then I found this vintage little romper. I originally thought it was a dress, but it's actually a romper and it has little shoulder pads inside and this floral print all around, super cute.
these skirts are so popular lately I've sold a few on my Depop so I decided I would pick one up in black and it's tagged a size small but I'm actually able to fit into it I'm usually like a large it has a lot of stretch next here's a playboy long sleeve and I thought it was so funny because I put it to wash to get the little stains in the front out and it came out with more stains which I don't know I just had a laugh about I picked up these Shade and Shore Little Mesh Shorts. I actually found two, so I'm going to go ahead and keep one, and then I'll post one for you guys. I also debated on keeping these because they're so cute. Um, they were just a little bit too low rise for me, so I did go ahead and post those, and they already sold, so thank you so much if you're watching. This IE midi skirt was giving me neon vibes, and I thought it was so cute for the summer. I like the little ruffle at the bottom, so cute. These shorts remind me of those little plaid shorts I used to wear in like elementary school. I thought they were so cute, so I had to pick them up. And they're actually 100% linen, so they're probably going to be my favorite shorts for the summer. This floral maxi skirt is already a favorite of mine. I've been wearing it a ton since I got it. I found this cherry print long sleeve bell dress and it does not have a vintage tag but I had to pick it up because it's just so cute. Here's a cute sweater for the spring and summer. I love the bright yellow color. It definitely gives me UCLA vibes. I'm obsessed with this dress it has a Patrick style pattern all over and it's so cute perfect for the spring and summer this little dress gives me Minnie Mouse vibes and I love it so much so I thought it would be so cute to pick up for one of you guys I also found this little vintage grandma zip up and it's just adorable. It has floral embroidery in the front. It has the little hearts. It also has like these little swirls that make it look like bows from a distance. It's just so cute. I have been on the hunt for a vest like this and I was so happy when I finally found it and it even has a vintage tag. No flaws. Definitely have to keep this one in my wardrobe. This DKNY pullover sweater feels like it's never been worn before. It's in really great condition, and I think I got this one for a dollar. Right next to the other one, I found this one, the little sister. It's so cute. I'm not really into purple, but I did really like the neck on this one, so I had to pick it up. And again, I think this one was a dollar. I picked up this Van Heusen mini skirt and it's so cute. I think I'm going to keep this one as well. This little jacket caught my attention because it's like a sheer silver fabric, which I thought was super cool. It could be a fun look for the office. This is a Linnea Donatella red little cami and it has that silk feel to it. I picked up this Free People flowy little top. I think you can also wear it as a mini dress if you're short enough. And it definitely screams spring to me. I thought it was just perfect. This vintage little vest doesn't scream spring to me, but it is cute and it definitely gives more of an autumn vibe. I've been on the hunt for a vintage Tweety shirt, and I finally found one. It's so cute. The graphic is all there. No cracking. The sleeves are single stitched, as well as the bottom hem. And it was produced the year I was made, so it just makes it super cool. I especially love the big, colorful tag. Here's another vintage graphic t-shirt. I thought this one was funny. It reminded me of camping with my family. This DC Shoes hoodie reminded me of Rob Dyrdek and Fantasy Factory, so I had to pick her up as well. 
we went to a swap meet the next day and there was a lady selling all of these belts for a dollar a piece which is pretty crazy i am going to keep this white one just because i do need a basic white belt and for a dollar you can't beat it this studded one is so gorgeous i want to keep it as well i just don't know if i'll wear it I really like this one because I feel like you can dress it up or dress it a little bit more casual if you'd like. And the turquoise gives a fun pop of color to your look. So I found that little bag and I decided to pick it up. It ended up being an area belt inside and it is missing a few of the little turquoise gems. But they're in the baggie so I can go ahead and hot glue those back on and it'll be good to go as new. If there is something you like here, you can definitely hit up my Depop down below. It should be there. And if it's not, um, give me some time because sometimes it does take me a little bit of time to like wash everything, take pictures, whatever. You can also message me on Instagram if you're interested in something and then I'll get back to you on there. Let me know if you guys like this sort of video. And then next time we go to LA, I'll definitely bring you guys along, do some thrifting. Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe down below and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!